my life. Yes. I lost it. Never ever done that in my life. How many times have we witnessed Simon Cowell crying on AGT? That man has a hardened heart. He rarely sheds tears, right? Simon has probably broken down in tears at least five or six times. One was in 2018, during season 13 of America's Got Talent. Look, oh gosh, as a, Let it out, Simon, as a it's dad, fine. you know, I, I couldn't get. The only performance that moved Simon to tears was by Michael Ketterer. And, it is probably because of his story, voice, heart, and compassion. Yup guys, we're talking about the amazing singer and father of six, Michael Ketterer, who received Simon Cowell's golden buzzer. Do you wonder where he is now? And what might have happened to him, mainly after his domestic violence arrest? We have you covered. Stick with us until the end of this video. Let's start with Michael Ketterer's journey on America's Got Talent. Singer-songwriter from Knoxville, Tennessee, Michael Ketterer is also a part-time worship leader, a part-time pediatric nurse, and a full-time father. The main reason for him to come on stage and achieve his dream of being on the world's biggest stage was his family, especially his six children, five of whom are adopted. Michael's children came out of foster care, and as per Michael, when you're surviving, you can't dream, and that has been one of the most rewarding things, providing them with a home and a safe environment, where they're free to dream. So, Michael Ketterer was on America's Got Talent stage, as he wanted to show his children that, if their dad could live out his dreams, then nothing is impossible for them. The father of six was a shining star in AGT's 13th season. During Ketterer's audition, Judge Simon Cowell hit the golden buzzer, sending him straight to the live shows, where he quickly became a fan favorite. The singer finished fifth, after losing to close-up magician Shin Lim in Wednesday's season finale. Throughout the show, Michael gave an amazing performance, singing songs like Bee Gees, To Love Somebody, Us by James Bay, When I Look at You by Miley Cyrus, Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell and lastly, The Courage to Love by Garth Brooks. In fact, this song was specially written by Garth Brooks for Michael Ketterer at Simon's request. I absolutely love Garth. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I, <laughs> he's like the, the, one of the best performers of all time. While season 13 of America's Got Talent wrapped up, Michael Ketterer was arrested for domestic violence in Los Angeles as per some sources like TMZ, People, Deadline, and others. The incident happened just one day after he was placed fifth in the show's finale. What had happened was that, Michael Ketterer and his wife Ivy got into a fight in their hotel room. When the authorities arrived, they noticed a red mark on Ivy's body, and eventually, the singer was arrested from the 1700 block of North Highland Avenue. As per Michael Ketterer, the arrest was a huge misunderstanding. He did admit he and his wife got into an argument in their hotel room, and cops were called, but Ivy had told the cops that she didn't want to press charges. However, they arrested him anyway, telling him the law's the law. Ketterer was released after posting $20,000 bail. So, is Michael Ketterer still married? Yes sir, the parents of six are even stronger after domestic violence arrest. Michael and Ivy have been married for more than two decades. As per the Ketterer family website, Michael and Ivy met when Ivy was 16 years old. They first met in the local Baskin Robbins, while Michael was a trainer, and Ivy was a trainee. The couple seemed to have gotten along immediately, and have been together ever since. Here's what you need to know about their beautiful children. The Ketterer family includes a set of triplets, a wolf pack, and a golden egg. A golden egg is their biological daughter, Sophie. Ivy almost lost her life while giving birth to Sophie. However, she was a miracle baby, and doctors warned that Ivy might not survive another pregnancy, so the Ketterer family made a difficult decision to not have any more babies. But it wasn't until young Sophie began having dreams for almost two years, about three boys who were in danger. While Sophie begged to adopt those boys, Mr. and Mrs. Ketterer weren't initially interested in adoption but Michael and Ivy became more open to the idea over time. So, in 2010, they were approved to be foster parents in Tennessee to adopt. With that, they adopted the wolf pack, Jared, Chase, and Jeria. And just like that, the Ketterer family of three became the Ketterer party of six. 
after six or seven months, they got the call to take in Rodi Boy. This little kid is a very special kid among other children's from the Ketterer family. When Rodi was a baby, his caregiver grabbed him and threw him into a wall, which fractured his skull, made him blind, mute, and diagnosed with abuse-induced cerebral palsy within 24 hours. His health issues were so severe that Michael, a licensed nurse, decided to focus on caring for Rodi 24-7, while his wife focused on the other four children. Rodi's neurologist report from the first day he came into the hospital stated, the child would be a vegetable, who would never attach to anyone, and there is no hope for his future. But today, Rodi can hear, see, and talk, and he is very much attached to the Ketterer family. Then came Sean Fox. Like the wolf pack, Ivy dreamt about a little black boy. Within two weeks, Ivy received a text from their caseworker that a beautiful little boy was living in the streets, homeless. So at this point, Ivy knew this was the boy from her dreams. So they adopted Sean. After all, the Ketterer family stands firmly in who God has called them to be, and is committed to the heart of the father. With that, let's know where Michael Ketterer is today. Since finishing fifth place, the singer hasn't released any solo music to streaming. Instead, he was seen performing on Influence Music's YouTube channel. In fact, he was one of the four members of this group before AGT. The group seems to consist of three singers who often collaborate with him. It's not surprising that he still works together even if he's no longer a group member, given that he first joined in 2014. Not to mention, the 44-year-old Michael is still a pediatric mental health nurse in 2022. He works at the CHOC Children's Hospital in Orange County, California. He and his wife Ivy are a part of the Jockey Being Family Network. Last but not least, let's know Ketterer's net worth. Michael Ketterer's estimated net worth is $500,000. His primary source of income is from his music and pediatric mental health nurse. It is known that a pediatric mental health nurse makes over $110,000 annually. After all, Michael Ketterer is doing great as of now. With that, we've come to the end of the video. What are your thoughts about Michael Ketterer? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for exciting updates. Thanks for tuning in.